Well, that's right. Today was a very emotional day in court. Peter Manfredonia, of course, the man who in 2020 killed his roommate, kidnapped his roommate's girlfriend, uh, committed a home invasion, murdered another man named Ted Demers, and then brutally attacked an 80 year old neighbor with a samurai sword today sentenced here in Rockville Superior Court. The second sentencing in the last 48 hours, this time for the murder of 62 year old Ted Demers. Manfredonia, of course, was the suspect who, after he committed all of those crimes, led police on a multi-state manhunt before finally being tracked down days later in Maryland. While in court today, Manfredonia surrounded by not only some of his victims, but their loving family members who gave powerful victim impact statements. We were not allowed to film those. But one of those people who spoke was Cindy Demers, the wife of Ted Demers. She told the court her world came to an end that day in 2020 when evil visited their quiet neighborhood. Ted Demers stabbed with a samurai sword. He died in Cindy's arms. Ted was killed just a month before the arrival of his grandchild, who was named Teddy after him. We now want to play you some sound, and what you're about to hear is an apology from Peter Manfredonia, followed by a response from a door dent to his Ted Demers' cousin, and finally a statement from the judge in this case. There are no words that can possibly atone for what I have done. Know that I am sorry nonetheless. You have done nothing to deserve the pain that I have caused. My actions were nothing short of irreprehensible. I do not expect forgiveness for my actions, and I will regret them every day for the rest of my life. There is no justice for this. There's none. There's just no justice. I, I, I just mean, what could you do, you know, to make anything just? This should never have happened. The brutality of your crime I found shocking. I had a hard time speaking with your attorney and Mr. Vidansky regarding this sentence. I thought a harsher sentence should be put in place. But because of the victim's wishes, I didn't want them to have to live through this again. Now, after the judge got done delivering her remor remarks, she imposed a 55-year agreed-upon plea deal prison sentence, making Manfredonia 88 if he survives that sentence. But don't forget, Manfredonia was just sentenced yesterday to another 55 years for that first murder, effectively ending his natural life outside of a prison cell and closing a very dark chapter in some still grieving families' lives. And coming up on the news at 6 o'clock, you're going to hear from some of Manfredonia's other victims and what they had to say to the court. For now, we're live here outside Rockville Superior Court. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.